What's good, car family? Happy Saturday. Hope everybody is well. Um, <clears throat> I went to a card show today, and uh, I had a good time. <laughs> um, I mostly just, uh, you know, I, I we've got a dollar box guy at the card show that we uh, all of us guys in, in this area have been have know this guy and been hitting his bins up, you know, for years now. And I made my mind up today. I'm like, you know what? I'm hitting the dollar box and it's pretty much all I'm going to do. And that's pretty much what I stuck to. I did pick up a couple other cards, but, and I, I made myself comfortable at the dollar boxes and that's what I did. So I'm going to show my pickups. Um, the first card I'm going to show, I didn't get it at the card show. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this one just came in the mail today. Um, it's a, Randy Hughes, uh, auto, presumably TTM. Um, I've talked about this fellow before, but I picked this up from Daryl Bolte on Facebook. Uh, Facebook seller sells a lot of autos. If you don't know him, um, check him out um, or hit me up and I can I can show you how to find Daryl. Um, really good guy. Sells a lot of really cool autos. So that's my first Randy Hughes auto. Uh, Cowboy Safety, and uh, Hughes was uh, actually not that bad a player for a few years and, and played quite a bit for the Cowboys. So, cool card to pick up. So, this was kind of a neat card and one that I'd never seen before. And uh, this is one where I went outside the uh, dollar boxes, so to speak. This is a 1996 playoff absolute quads and uh this is jay novacek jay novacek kevin williams you can see there and then on the other side you've got dion and michael Irvin. that was a pretty cool card um the guy i bought it from gave me a deal on three cards which I'll show those. Well, actually, one of them is coming up. So, give me this card. And then this card. Uh, score 2000. Airmail. Little Troy Aikman insert. He just threw this one in. And it's just, it's like a $2 card. But, um, it's pretty nice of him. Guy gave me a nice deal on it. So, I appreciate that. And... This one was not part of it. I grabbed this one out of the dollar box. When you see like 95 select and it's your team and it's a mirror gold, no matter who it is, <laughs> I don't pass them up. So this is Sherman Williams. It is a rookie. Um, mirror gold from 95 select. Right. You can't let that go. Um, so one super cool thing at the show, I'm browsing the boxes <clears throat> and this, uh, Younger guy, uh, he's over to my right going through the boxes, and he's like, hey, man, you know, I don't want to interrupt you or don't want to bother you or something along those lines. He says, but uh, don't you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. And he's like, yeah, you're Big D for life, right? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, man, I've been watching your videos. I watch all your videos. I've been watching your videos for a long time. And I'm like, really? <laughs> um, it was pretty cool. Um especially I've been kind of down on YouTube lately. Um, I, I don't get a lot of views anymore and I, whatever, but it's not so much that it's kind of that there's not as much back and forth in the community as there used to be. So it's pretty cool to get that feedback from somebody that, you know, actually watches your videos. He's like, yeah, I saw your, uh, BCW, uh, card holder video. Uh, I watched that one and he's like, I've been watching for a long time and, uh, so yeah, that was really cool and chatted with him for a while. Um, a couple other guys were, 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 were with us, all of us going through the boxes and kind of helping each other out, passing each other cards and stuff. This is one of the cards that he passed me and I didn't catch his name. I hope you comment on this video, dude, so I can at least get your name. Um, he told me he wasn't a tuber that made videos, so I can't like tell you what his tuber name was or anything. He did tell me, but I, man, I don't remember, but. He gave me this. He's like, I don't know if you'll, you know, he 
he found this in the boxes. He's like, I don't know if you'll you would want this. And this is a 2002 pristine Roy Williams rookie. It's out of 4.99, and I uh, man, I love this uncirculated stuff. So super cool. And I wanted to show this one in particular because this is normally how I get these. They're in these kind of like old holders. They are uncirculated. They've never been opened. They're in kind of so-so condition, the holder. And I always end up cracking them and showing the card cracked. So I wanted to show one before I cracked it. And hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it out of this thing. Um, I don't keep them in here typically unless they're like in still in good condition. Um, so I just don't think they, I don't think they look good. Um, I don't think they look good in these old dingy dinged up holders, but it is cool that, you know, they never been out of these. Um, so theoretically the cards are usually in really good shape and this one's no exception I mean that's a beautiful card right and that is Roy Williams rookie uh, Roy Williams uh, Oklahoma legend and believe me when Roy Williams came to the Cowboys um, it was a big deal Cowboys fans were super excited to get Roy Williams I'm looking for a top loader here we go so not a super high-end card, but a cool card nonetheless. Cool to add to the collection. Right. And then I'll pair it with this. I already had this pristine uh, little jersey piece, right? So really nice, man, and good to meet you. Um, I hope you're watching. I hope you can comment. I'll try to point out some other cards. He handed me he he handed me some cool stuff. Um, he was coming across better stuff than I was, Cowboys wise. Did find some Micas, um, red, white, and blue Crusade, green Crusade. Got the red, white, and blue Prism draft pick. Uh, got the select, I don't know, what do they call this? A red laser or something like that. This is definitely one that he handed me. Uh, Chronicles Pink. Didn't have that. Hit the DAT counter. Uh, this is 21 select. Concourse. Red die cut. Really like that. Prism draft picks. I guess that's the purple wave. What is this? 21. Purple wave. The silver. And the green. <clears throat> um, this one, pretty sure is one he handed me, 2022 Prestige, Extra Points. Like, he's handing me these cards, I'm like, dude, I think you're, I think you're hitting the counter, man. One of the one of the one of those extra points he he gave me this one I might have found because this one's twenty one extra points. Got the prism fireworks insert at a twenty one prism. Been wanting this one uh, the silver. Legendary logos out of 21 Prism. Got that old school logo on there. And 
out of Prism, the My House. This is what? 21 Prism. I think this is a silver. I don't know if they have it in a just a base, non shiny version. He definitely handed me this one too. Uh, Zeke. What is this? 2020 Select Premier Level Red Die Cut. This one. Um, yeah, so this card, I didn't even really realize it. I thought it was just like a red red variant or something which it is but it's uh this is the first off the line uh red zone variation Ezekiel Elliott 2020 contenders thought that was pretty cool didn't know what I had there um 21 prison draft picks CD lamb red white and blue and a green My YouTube friend handed me this card, uh, Rookies and Stars, out of 99. Nashawn Wright, rookie. Starting now. Has me scared to death over there at corner. Um, this is my first Jalen Tolbert auto. It is out of uh, Leaf Flash, but I like this product. I don't care what anybody says. Out of 30. 9 out of 30. And I think they're sweet looking cards. Jalen Tolbert Auto. Look at that. They do the same pretty stuff that Panini can do. They just don't have logos. Kelvin Joseph. Rookie out of Certified. 249. Speaking of Deron Bland. Or not Deron Bland, but Nashawn Wright. Like Joseph has played himself out. Our other starting corner, Trayvon Diggs, absolute red. And this was pretty cool. Um, out of 2020 um, contenders optic round numbers, Diggs and Xavier McKinney. I, I threw this one in my box. I almost knew that I had it. Got home, checked my uh, sheet. And I didn't have it. 2020 Contenders, Legendary Contenders, Emmett Smith. I must have this card from another year, which was making me think I had it for this year. But she is the counter. Um, this is one that, that he passed me as well. And... He's like, I'm sure you have this. I'm like, I don't think I do, man. Uh, this is score. I believe 99. Look at this card. Very nice. Scoring core insert. I think he handed me this one as well. 2020 Mosaic. Men of Mastery. I don't know which parallel this is. I think it's the mosaic mix mosaic. Um, could be wrong, but that's sweet. Like I might have to look for more parallels in this one. Then this last one is super cool. Um, this is one of the ones I picked up with those first two cards I showed. Uh, this is 1996 playoff illusions, super bowl 30 die cut. And this is not the Spectra Illusion. I might dive into that, explaining that a little later. Um, there's a parallel of this, which this one is not. But that's still a badass card. Really like that. All right, and then the last thing I was kind of on my way out. 
and I had stopped by this guy's table and he had these uh, starting lineups for sale and he had some cowboys and he had a sticker on them that said all three cowboys for ten dollars and I don't normally buy this kind of stuff but I said whatever so I bought the Dion this is the 98 Dion Sanders And I bought the, I don't know what year this is, 93, Michael Irvin, right? And there's two cards in there, the Deep Threat, and then the starting lineup card. And I got the 93, hang on. All right, I got the 93 Emmett Smith. And there's two cards in there, which was super cool. So, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I really don't care. Because um, I'm not ever going to sell these. And they're really not worth a whole lot of money. I mean, so, I'm taking it out of here. Because I think they display a lot better out of this packaging and if I ever want one in a package then I'll spend a couple bucks and buy one in the package okay and I'll take them all out but I want to take the Emmet out because I want to count the cards man these cards are off center like a, maybe they're maybe that's how they're made So, what I'm going to do, most people probably wouldn't do this, but I'm going to put the little helmet on in there, and I'm going to count the figure, because the figure is unique. And I'm going to count the go-to guy card. And the base card. Like I say, those are in really nice shape. They're perfect. I'm going to send them off the PSA. Um, but I'm not done. <laughs> so he also had some of these things. Let's see what these are called. Uh, okay. Here we go. Headliners. He had some headliners, so, and he had all of these for 10 bucks also. So, there was a Dan Marino. And again, ignore the prices. You see, they still got the KB Toys sticker on there. So, Brad, if you're watching, get that Dan Marino to you at some point. Uh, let's see what other. Yeah. I don't know anyone. There's a Brett Favre. Maybe there's somebody that likes Brett Favre that I can give that to. John Elway. And this is cool. Bill Bates. Got me a cowboy there. Um... Who else? Oh, wait. Did I mess up? Oh, I didn't know I had this one. Mark Brunel. Jaguars made the playoffs tonight. Troy Aikman. <laughs> and these are coming out, too. I'm, I'm taking these things out and display these little figures. And then last, but not least, we got Emma Smith. So,
never seen these before. Pretty cool little thing. So that hits the counter. Fun day at the card show. I'm looking at the checklist. Well, there's different years. Let me look at the checklist for the Bill Bates. Oh, look, Dustin. There's a Chris Carter and a Michael Irvin. Man, I might have to get the triplets. Anyhow, appreciate y'all watching. Keep it real. I'm out.